So very likely, Israel fights this one, and now they have moved their soldiers also. We're seeing Hamas right now, the tip of the spear. We already saw the uncovering of Hamas, the Iran face behind it. We're going to see other nations. I actually believe prophetically we're going to see Iraq. We're going to see the Israel Palestine conflict is a Bible prophecy. We know it is happening, but Bible has already prophesied on these happenings. Let us listen what Pastor Tommy Ariomi has to say about it by reading the Bible and telling us this prophecy that the Bible says. Let us listen. And your plunder will be divided in your presence. For I will gather all the nations for battle against Jerusalem, and the city will be captured, the houses will be looted, the woman ravished, half of the city will go into exile, but the rest of the people will not be removed from the city. There seems to be a culmination of nations right now gathering themselves against Israel. And if you remember my last prophetic video, if you don't remember it, this is just part two of that. So you, after this, I encourage you go back and watch that. I think it's that almost 100,000 of you have watched that video, but go, go and check it out because I talk about how people are gonna appear to be for Israel, but then they're gonna kind of change a little bit and you're going to see a little bit of a shift more into a Palestinian support than an Israeli support. From there, let us listen to what the Pastor Chris also has to say about the Israel-Palestine conflict. Russia at, at, at least dominated the news and Israel was kind of making some headway with friendships with some of the Arab nations. Everybody wondered what where was the enmity between uh, Israel and the Palestinians. It seemed like it had gone to the, you know, it was nobody was thinking about it. It was like off the off the table. It wasn't off the table for the Illuminati. At the right time, they were advised that this was the moment to strike. So you strike and what happens? What happens? Israel returns fire for fire in a very devastating way. Now, Israel will be accused of killing a fly with a sledgehammer. That's what's going to happen. All those who are supporting Israel right now, they're going to turn against Israel. Those nations that are saying, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. They're going to turn against Israel soon. They're going to say, it's too much. So why Israel is fighting this, already uh, Hezbollah and the, to the northern part of Israel from their southern Lebanon territories started trying some things. They attacked some of the military positions of Israel and Israel responded. But war has not been declared. So very likely, Israel fights this one, and now they have moved their soldiers also to the northern border. So they're going to be fighting on two fronts very soon. But it's going to be more than that, because Iran is funding Hezbollah and funding Hamas, and they're not hiding it, and they're saying so. So Israel will have to take actions against Iran. So very likely, the plan from these people who are behind this is to instigate Israel to attack Iran. So they're going to be fighting Hamas, and fighting Hezbollah and fighting Iran. And since 
they're fighting for their lives, they're going to be very devastating. And because they're fighting that, then Islamic Jihad from Pakistan joins. And that drags as envisioned, as envisioned by the planners of this. That drags the Arab world into it all. So they declare intifada. Intifada means um, to shake off, literally, which really is um, a term to refer to uprising. So it's a kind of rebellion. So what you're seeing is, I told you about the polarization of nations. And I told you about this phase of polarization and what we, what we were about to see and when it began. And I told you it was going to go on. So you're going to have those that are pro-China. You have those that are pro-Europe. And of course, China will be friends with Russia. And then, I wonder where your country, which one will your country join? You see, so they're going to be so polarized. This is what they plan to do. This is what they plan to do. Pastor Chris has also exposed the truth of the Israel-Palestine conflict or fight. And what he said, we can see it happening right as today. Now, Pastor Tommy, Arabi also has something to say. Let us listen to him as he finishes the video. And you're going to see a little bit of a shift more into a Palestinian support than an Israeli support. Listen, the, the word Palestine is actually a, an insult. It's not a nation, it's an insult. So for those of you who like free Palestine, Palestine was an insulting term given to, the, to Jerusalem by a conquering emperor who decided to change the name to Palestine because somewhere in the book of Judges he read how the Philistines would always torment the, the children of God. And so he renamed it in mockery of the Jews. He renamed it Palestine. This is a land that has always belonged to the people of God, the Israeli, the Jewish people from before you and I were ever on the scene. So I'm going to tell you what I believe the church needs to do right now. The, the, the Lord called, and I'm going to read some things the Lord said to me in prayer, because we've got to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, but we've also got to hear the Lord for Jerusalem as well. The Lord calls Hamas the tip of the spearhead. It's the tip of the spear. It's not the rest. Others are going to respond. We're seeing Hamas right now, the tip of the spear. We already saw the uncovering of Hamas, the Iran face behind it. We're going to see other nations. I actually believe prophetically we're going to see Iraq. We're going to see, let, let me just, uh, 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 we may even see Morocco. I mean, distant parts of, of, uh, of, uh, of the uh, Arab world are going to begin to respond to this in a different way. I'm actually trying to pull up this, this map right now so I could tell you the nations that I saw. I saw Iraq, I saw uh, Yemen, even though they're somewhat defeated. I saw Egypt, I saw different nations, Afghanistan. I saw them gathering around to add their own insult and their own war and their own strategy to this tip of the spearhead that others were going to ensue with their own attacks and try to cripple the nation at this time. Then I saw a season prophetically where I saw uh, uh, Netanyahu uh, shutting 
not just food, not just water, not just food supply. I saw people genuinely suffering inside the siege. And then I saw others who were pretending and using young children as shields and starving kids as PR to say, look what's happening to us. World stage set in. And all of a sudden, what started off as real support Israel became a shift again, and people and nations began to shift and support uh, Palestine. This is a very powerful prophecy from the Bible from Pastor Chris and Pastor Tommy Arumi. Now we are all aware that the Palestine-Israel conflict and the Hamas war is really biblical. The Bible has already stated that these things will happen. We are seeing them unfold. Child of God, this shows that what the Bible is saying is true. The coming of Jesus Christ is at hand. These are the things the Bible foretold that in his coming, we shall see these things. Child of God, thank you for watching and thank you for imbibing to what the Bible has said. I will see you in the next video. Remember, God richly bless you.